Good day, my friends. I hope you're well. I come to you today with good news. The sun has risen. The temps are cooler. And we have been given another day where we can be our Creator's hands and feet in our neighborhoods, our city, our state, and most importantly, our country. I'm going to fill a bit of my official lay leader role here for a moment and share with you that yesterday we held our annual charge conference via Zoom. We were led by Bob Bouchong and Merrill. And it was a time where our staff and volunteer leadership came together and did some official church business. We approved clergy compensation for both Merrill and Craig. We approved the trustees who will lead us into the coming year. On the volunteer side, we were joined by Jeff Palmer, our SPRC chair, Frank Hagee, our church council chair, Suzanne Pruder, our finance chair, and me, your lay leader. During our time, we heard from Bob, who shared some verses from the book of Philippians, chapter 4. And I have heard these verses so many times lately. And I think the reason is because these verses give us guidance as to what we should focus on. And on days like today, when so many of us are filled with anxiety and fear and general stress, it really helps to have some guidance as to where we should direct our attention. So I'm going to read these verses to you from a tiny Bible that was my grandmother's. It houses the books of the New Testament. I found this Bible when I was packing up my items, uh, moving out of my house on Yale Street, and it was the first thing I unpacked when I moved here to Cocoa Beach. The words are so small that even my glasses can't make out every word, so I'm going to use a magnifying glass, and if you can give me a little bit of grace while I get my magnifying glass set up, I will with delight read these verses to you. Again, it's from the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verses 4 through 8. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which surpasseth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, Whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. I look forward to seeing many of you this coming Sunday. And don't forget, today and always, love big.